The genetic evidence suggests that the lineage leading to modern humans split off from the lineage leading to modern chimps somewhere between six and eight million years ago. If you look at all the fossils on the lineage leading to modern humans, what are called the hominin fossils, you can see a general uh, story or trend. There's a lot of things that we associate with modern humans, you know, big brain size, you know, language, culture, but really the one thing that fossilizes well and sort of it, it seems to be a hallmark of those early fossils would be bipedalism, an upright posture, you know, being able to walk on two legs. And that is the earliest fossils that are considered hominin fossils, and they date to about seven million years ago. Are, are ones that show signs um, that they were adapted to some extent for upright posture. You know, the big uh, hole that attaches uh, your neck to your skull, instead of being towards the back, it shifts down and comes underneath as if you have upright posture. Also, the size of their, their brain is somewhere 350 to 400 cc's, and just, you know, a, a 16 ounce can of Coke is somewhere around 330, just to give you an idea of how much brain size we're, we're modern humans are up there to 1300. Then you get to the point about two and a half million years ago where you see the first members of our genus, the genus Homo, like Homo habilis. You see some that have a slightly bigger brain, uh, but they also have a big jaw. And then you have others with a smaller brain and a small jaw. They have these sort of mosaic features. But out of that um, uh, African hominid uh, groupings emerges you know, the Homo erectus, which is sort of the first one that shows this big, significant increase in brain size over time. And then turns to be out uh, to be the first hominid species that leaves Africa. So it, it, that, that big brain, you know, maybe it's something about having a large brain that you want to explore. And then and from that point on, there's hominid species leaving Africa. And then there was other waves. There's the wave of species that became Neanderthals, left Africa about 600,000 years ago. And then modern humans leave Africa around 150,000 years ago. Um, so you have these waves of these large brain hominids, one after the other, starting in Africa, but then leaving Africa and exploring the globe. So you still have Africa as sort of the cradle where a lot of these, um, these, these species take their birth and then migrate from there to the rest of the globe.